Today's video, we're going over Procreate Dreams 101. Let's dig in. You downloaded the app, you popped it open, got your pencil, and you brought it up to this main screen. This main screen is only gonna have three things on it. You're not gonna have as many projects as I am because I've already been doing this for a little while. You'll have two tests and you're gonna look at this. You're gonna be completely overwhelmed. I know when I first opened this app, I was, I'm looking at it going, how could anybody create that? It looks so clean, so perfect, so blah. But it's really not as hard as it looks. So let's dig in. You wanna start a new project from scratch. So you're gonna hit the plus button. Now they have different sizes. If you wanna do like an Instagram reel, definitely choose the social because that's gonna give you the top down. But if you're looking for more long form YouTube videos, definitely go here. If you wanna go with something more theatrical, definitely hit this one. Today we're gonna to be working within this. So this automatically works inside of 24 frames per second, set at 30 seconds long. We're doing a very short animation. I'm gonna change this to five seconds, Oop, not 55. I'm gonna change this to five seconds long because I don't wanna do more than that. I'm gonna be drawing. So if I already had a project in hand, I'd go ahead and hit empty so I could upload it over from Procreate, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit draw. Draw is gonna bring me to this blank canvas with already one frame in place. And that brings me to this front page. So there's a couple of things. There's the play button, which plays the entire clip from beginning to end. The record button, which I'll show you how to use in a second. So we're gonna start by drawing. And I'm gonna double tap as close as I can to this to get one single frame. And I'm gonna do frame by frame to start. So I'm gonna just slide this down so I have this little canvas. No, this does not get any smaller. I know it's annoying, but this square gets smaller once you zoom it out. What this square is, is your frame of the camera, which you're gonna be working inside of. So you can draw outside of all this and then bring it over into the camera, which is an amazing tool, which I'll show you momentarily. But right now we're just gonna work inside. So I'm just gonna do a simple animation of a stick figure. I'm gonna draw his legs and he's gonna be running, right? His arm is kind of up. This one is kind of down because he's mid stride. And then I'm gonna to go to the next frame. And this is cool, this is onion skinning. If you're new to animation, onion skinning is just showing you the previous frame and the frame ahead of it. Onion skinning is gonna be important momentarily. We're gonna work on three key frames, which means that it's gonna be the major poses of this character. And I'm not gonna move him, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep him right where he is and I can show you why. I'm gonna go ahead and draw him in kind of the launching, position and he's got some really wonky legs it's okay he uh he was just special i'm gonna kind of draw him landing on that right and then the last frame i think i need is him kind of like halfway in between excuse me right and i'm very picky oh what happened to his foot wow and i'm kind of very picky about how my feet look right i'm gonna go back to watch kind of what i have and if you zoom into it it's gonna stay at that frame rate right it kind of looks like wacky and this is okay i'm this is merely an example this is not my best of work you can see some of my better work in, in my channel what i did here is i drew the basic keyframing of him running so this is where 24 frames per second comes in really handy i'm going to animate on something called twos and threes what does that mean that just means that I'm gonna hold this frame for two frames. And to get this to work without, some of you are gonna go, it's not letting me go any further than this. I just tapped the corner, put my finger down and drag across. And that moves everything for you. So you don't have to sit there and move each one individually. Procreate's already done that for you. And I'm gonna hold this for two frames. So when you're animating on 24 frames per second, this turns actually into 12 frames per second. So you see how it kind of slows down for a second and then he gets fast like he's hipping it. So now I'm gonna draw the in-between frames. And I'm gonna move him over just a little bit because I wanna be able to see the in-between of them all. And I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna draw again. And that drawing has something called onion skinning. So go ahead and hit that time button. And in that time button has onion skinning and each onion skinning you'll have the backwards and the forwards. So the forwards I'm gonna make red. The backwards I'm gonna make pink and I'm only going to say I want to see one frame so that's backwards that's forwards so I can technically come in here and say I want him right his leg was up I want it to come down just not as much but like halfway here and this one is also going to swing in just a little bit right his arm is going to come down 
His arm is going to come down. So now, when I go back, I got the in-between. Now it's a little funky because I moved him forward. So I'm going to move him backwards again. Bring him back to the mark, right? Now that's going really fast. I'm going to slow him down a little bit with that trick. Now that I've got him from point A to point B, I'm going to take the selection tool and I'm going to select all of this. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to make this into a group by holding it down with my finger or with my stylus, doesn't matter, and add a group. Right, and I'll create a new track. You can get rid of this bottom one if you're type A like I am. But I'm going to duplicate this again because I want him to have a continuous run cycle. Right, so I'm going to duplicate it twice. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to group these again. I know it seems silly, but you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to start at the beginning. I'm going to move him outside of my lens. And then I'm going to bring him in with this record button. Right? And his run is kind of wonky, but that's okay. He's a little special. More complicated like I have in some of these videos where you're moving everything from one side to the other in a smooth, nice smooth basis. This is what you can do with Procreate. Please leave a comment and a like and subscribe to this page. And I look forward to seeing you next time.